What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and these are two things that I really, really think need to be changed in The Division 2, and that is the recalibration station and the crafting station. Now, uh, let's start with the old uh, crafting station. Literally at this point, there is no point to the crafting station other than to craft replica weapons to turn in for projects. I mean, have any of you actually ever crafted anything other than for that very reason? Because I know I definitely haven't. Now, I know a lot of people say that gear score really doesn't matter, but in a sense, it does. If you just look at the damage values alone, the 10,686 to the 15,624, the 10,000 is the bottom line for 450 as 490, the top end is the 15,000 so when you're 490 that's the top end roll you can get if you broke that down to say like 480 to 490 that bottom value would go up maybe to 12,000 13,000 it wouldn't be that much but it would go up so what I really think they need to do is say once you hit 490 in game that's your gear score you should be able to upgrade the crafting station one more time from 450 to 490 to 490 to 500 gear putting you in that higher bracket like we are in the game because right now honestly why would I want to craft this why the values between them and the random bonus perks and whatnot 10,000 to 15,000 a hey, that's a huge gap a 5,000 damage gap that's kind of silly and if you look at the rest of the weapons there's no real any sense to any of the numbers really I don't know what they were on but man give me some it just looks like some are 5,000 apart some are 4,000 apart and then with some of the other weapons there's almost a 10,000 difference in them I mean I don't know what they were thinking with this this needs to be changed this needs to be fixed you should definitely hit the like button if you agree with me another example of how I think it should work is like say with exotics take the Liberty blueprint which rolls between 54,892 and 67,090 and then you take the 500 version of it which is 57,359 to 70,106 which gives it a difference of 2,500 damage on the low end of it that's just the gap between 490 and 500 when it comes to gear score this needs to be done to all of the gear give us better odds make it so we can roll from 490 to 500 regular gear please and alongside of that that whole 20 23,000 difference between the low end roll to the top end roll for a 500 even on Liberty is just well short bus look at the difference on the nemesis it's it's like a 60,000 damage difference that's ridiculous man they need to slim that up like whoosht. you can't see my hands but I'm whooshting. And then the armor blueprints are even worse. Look at backpacks. There's a 14,000 armor difference. That should not be like that. They need to put a 490 to 500 and they need to lessen those values. In all honesty, there's really no reason to roll this. And I guarantee you nobody's ever going to hit that cap. It'd be like a one in a million one in a million but again the armor is the same way as everything else is really i don't want to use a 450 piece of gear even if it does roll at like 24,000. i don't know that maybe it's just me but i i don't know i don't they should make gear score matter more than it does even though it does technically actually matter but with all this crap it doesn't matter enough and these value differences should not be like that 10,000 point differences it makes no sense whatsoever it makes an entire part of the game useless and i think they should change this so that way it's relevant and it makes people's lives easier not easier you just have less of a heartbreaking grind and finally the recalibration station what they should do is is leave their little recalibration score in there but let us roll attributes and talents let us roll one attribute as per usual and one talent and maybe make the talents cost 50 recalibration score points and whatever's left over we can use into the attributes which would actually cap us in some situations and stuff it would still make the game a little bit grindy you would still be looking for that perfectly rolled piece to roll this onto and whatnot and i think it would just change the dread of grinding for loot like I don't know about you guys, man, but sometimes when I'm going for a piece of gear, it's just, ugh, and I don't want to do it. And I do YouTube, and I have the potential to make an earning off of this, actually earn money playing this game. And I am and I still am just like, oh my god, I just don't, oh, it's too much. The 1% chance to get that piece of gear that you actually need. 
And the sad part is that 1% chance of getting that piece of gear with two blues, one red, and whatever on it, and even when you get that piece that you need, could still roll like crap after that, and then you can still only roll one thing on it, which... They need to change this. I think nearly the entire Division community would be applauding them for putting this in the game. Because honestly, I know they throw tons and tons of loot at us, but man, I, it just, it's garbage. I'm over a million in credits. I sh really shouldn't have a million credits. That's how much garbage gear you get. Especially when you sell gear and you're only getting uh, 250 credits per piece. and what That's a lot of money. That's a lot of gear I sold. Not to mention all the gear that you deconstruct to get ceramics and all that other junk. I don't know. These are my own uh, personal thoughts. I guarantee a lot of you guys are going to agree with me on this, but I definitely think they need to change this. I personally don't believe it's going to take any of the grind out of the game. If anything, it'll make everyone grind harder. Because if they actually do these two things, casual players will be able to make gear sets. Their influencers that everybody watches to play the game and this and that will be able to make better gear sets to put on the internet, in turn making other people and everybody else who watches this crap make better gear sets and it just i think overall these two changes will honestly change the game i really think that they need to do this i really 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 do hit the like button if you agree J those are just my thoughts anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and all that junk what your thoughts are on this if you agree disagree let me know i'm curious <clears throat> hit the old like button for me if you could that would be awesome will definitely help out this video and get other people to see it so they can agree and hit the like button too <laughs> subscribe and all that other junk and i will catch you all on the flip side peace